coming in eight miles. We'll finish off probably close to 12 miles. How many of you guys you feel like you're reaching your goal and maybe kind of fell off short? Could be anything about with life, uh, your weight loss journey, but no matter what, it's not over yet. If you ate a little bit too much, sometimes that happens. But the key is always consistency. And that's what the meaning of life is. Staying consistent with the Lord. Keep bettering ourselves. Keep repenting if you fell off short. Continue working on it. Continue eating that mental health alive. All in the name of Jesus Christ. You know, you got to always keep pressing on. And the Holy Spirit will always got to give you the encouragement and strength. You know, like taking a break yesterday, gathering my thoughts. And that habit kicks in, I'm telling you, man. If, if there's anything I could take out of it, man, I, I, I take it from out of Abraham's. When God told Abraham to leave that land. He walked everything that the promise would belong to him. But in that, I think there's life meaning behind it. When you're walking and jogging, it, it just does something to your mind, you know. I can't even put words into it. But I'm to the point, it's like, you know, I have some little battles going on. Enemy of our soul, indeed, is trying to come after our kids. I, you know, all I can say, everyone, if, if you all could keep my daughter in prayer. You know, I know that teen years hit, you know. But I pray that God will continues to convict our heart to do what's right and I know how vulnerable at that age it's easy to fall into any temptations but that's what life teaches us brothers and sisters that you gotta keep pressing on keep reading the word of God nourish it keep running with the Lord keep taking care of your health all of that mind body and soul you want to take care of the temple that the Spirit of God dwells in as the Holy Spirit can also Strengthen your mind, renew you in the spirit, and overcome any obstacles. Uh, keep reading also too, I gotta say. Reading the word of God, reading um, people that send encouraging words, listening to testimonies, feed all that into your soul and let that grow in you, brothers and sisters. Because remember through Christ, we can do all things. No matter where you are at that age, you know, the, the consistency, God, will continuously strengthen us. <sighs> Sorry, I just lost my train of thought for a second. <laughs> but what it does is just, it just renews you. Never ever, brothers and sisters, cave in. Never, never surrender. Sometimes those things are hard, you know. Even when that jog is, you know, you're running for hours, you don't know where time goes, but you know, that's what it does. It's kind of like with the Lord. Time, future, past, present is nothing. You know, you got to think about it. Once you go, you go. And you see, not only it takes care of you spiritually, it will take care of everything physically also too. The healing process and everything is all in our surrounding that God has given us. So stay encouraged, my brothers and sisters. I'm praying for you all. I'm praying for you all. If you fell short, I pray that you are all forgiven. Get back up. Rise up. Keep carrying that cross, brothers and sisters. Keep carrying that cross. That's all I can say. Keep walking with God. Keep praying for the our country, all the countries, all these wars and rumors of war, all that affect us. And that's why we need to be drawn to Lord, to our Lord and Savior more and more. When we all understand everything, we bring all at the feet of Jesus. Amen. So God bless you all. I'm praying for you all all your children, 
grandchildren, nieces, nephews, they're all in my prayers. I know how I feel like in this area, our children matters, you know. And we know what they're trying to do to destroy the next generation. And I pray that God continuously fill us of his wisdom that we may teach it to our kids and that the Lord also can intervene and come to their spirit and convict them 10 times harder that they don't fall off. Amen. God bless you all and I will talk to you guys soon. Take care.